Lily, the first person she knew that was trans, was on YouTube. So she showed her story on YouTube. In 2015 she started documenting her transition. Lily met the Ian counselor when she was making her transition because her mental health was affected so she met the counselor four years ago with her mum. In the school uniform, Ian said she struggled to engage. In rural Wales, there are a lot of traditional attitudes. In 2015 Swansea Sparkles was Wales' largest transgender event the first she started dressing up the way she wanted. Lily is now a different person mentally from four years ago. George's friend takes a picture of Lily where she says it brings out her self-confidence. Post the photo on Instagram. Diane mum said she will be doing well a few weeks and months ago suddenly the dysphoria hit. She can't leave her room no more. 2017 Lily was prescribed testosterone blockers to delay male puberty. A year later, Lily started taking the female hormone estrogen. Cue Lily's dad as a family they needed to adapt, it essential for her to leave her previous life behind according to Lily dad. Lily said she needed to be a perfect character for them not deny her hormones or surgery. 2016 people ask. How would she change her mind one day but she says you're living it you don't really understand how it feels. Lily dad said when first he had difficulty calling her she. The dad was still calling her. Lily is a very important name to her, it was her grandma name. She has always felt a very strong spiritual connection with her. Lily speaks about her YouTube reaction some being positive and other negative. A lot of Lily trans friends really struggle to look back at photos from the early on in their transition, or even before they were transitioning, which is completely understandable. However, Lily says she is very kind to herself. In October 2019, Lily decided to move to Birmingham, she just finished college and she has always wanted to move to the city. Lily loves being in her new house, going out and having fun. In Abba Wales, a lot of people couldn't see past me transitioning but in Birmingham it's more open. She was very paranoid in Wales. January 2020 Gender Identity Clinic appointment they're asking about her medication and asking her if she is sure. Lily's surgery date was confirmed 28th of March 2020 she is getting what is called the full works which is a always wanted to have a family in the future. However, she decided to freeze her testosterone. Being trans has never affected any relationship she had according to Lily. She is currently dating someone. Friday 20th of March 2020 she got a call from her surgeon telling her that the surgery has been postponed due to COVID. Lily was a week away from surgery and they needed the bed for cases. She goes with Adam to Wales to self-slotted. During post-lockdown she is not allowed any visitors during surgery. It was rescheduled for 1st of September 2020. She has done the surgery and now starting her new life.